Welcome back to this drawing from Joanna Besford's World of Flowers. I promised you that I would finish the background and uh, well I'm not finished yet but I have been doing some work I hope you can see and I decided to do another video about uh, layering. I'm just going to show you and um, there were a few an uh, questions also. I hope I can remember. I, I read all your comments, but I remember sometimes. But I remember one question, and that was a question from a viewer who asked, when you buy pencils, do you sharpen them before you use them or not? Well, my answer is I always sharpen them because uh, manufacturers hardly ever sharpen the pencil tips to a sharp point. I haven't seen it yet. Most of the time they have a flat top and that's really not working. So I, I uh, would highly recommend uh, sharpening first, really. So let's continue. When in the previous episode about this page, this was all white and I showed you how I do the first layer. And now I have multiple layers on top of each other and I'm going to show you just how I continue. And as you can see, I combine the most strange combination of colors and it's just working. It works. Here I have a color called eggplant and this is all done by Arteza Professional Expert Color Pencils. It's just to show you that you can do great things with a cheap, relatively cheap pencil. And when it comes to coloring in coloring books, I think this Arteza pencil is a very good choice. It's not the best pencil, but I find it very enjoyable to work with. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are all in good health concerning the situation in the world. My husband and I, we are healthy, my family is healthy, friends are healthy, everybody is healthy. And we stay home to kill the virus. And um, it seems to work. Here we have orange. Yeah, the measures uh, against the virus seems to work. But the Dutch government has warned everybody we are only at the beginning of what needs to be done to uh, get rid of this uh, ugly thing. And let's pick another color. Now there's a great contrast between this dark part here and the rest here. So I need to, to, to gradually, I want everything to be gradually done in this background. Let's try a brown tone. Here I have a brown tone called Garnet. Let's see what happens with a beautiful sharp point.
We are having the most beautiful days here in the Netherlands. Only downside is that it is very dry. Nature is longing for rain. But that doesn't, uh, it's not in the near future, I, uh, I fear. But we have clear blue skies, it's amazing. And I must say that makes this uh, lockdown situation lots and lots easier, I think. Maybe not for everybody, but... Uh, for example, yesterday we were able to invite my parents-in-law. We are allowed to have visitors in the home, but we find it too risky to uh, have people in the home. But when we are in the garden, we can uh, keep our distance from each other and just have a nice time. So yesterday my parents-in-law came. They live in an apartment. They have a beautiful apartment. But with this... Uh, lockdown situation, they decided to not invite anybody in their homes. And I think that is very wise. My parents also do not invite people in their homes, in their home, but they have a large garden, so they, uh, they see people in their garden. So as you can see, I'm just gradually pulling things together here in this drawing. Now the Dutch government has asked everybody to uh, join the think tank of uh, how to proceed from here because now we have the lockdown but we cannot stay in lockdown forever so the government asked the people to think about how to change things so shops can open again, restaurants can start again and also how I can start teaching again because I'm teaching via the internet right now but that's really it's not it's not working as well as with uh, as, as just face to face it's much better to have your, my, stu my students in the studio, but uh, we need to keep a distance of one and a half meters. And then uh, there, there are a couple more things I need to uh, take care about before I can uh, have students again. Our garden is uh, lots and lots better right now. I did a lot of gardening lately. Let's try my eraser. To clean up things a little bit. The garden looks much better. I did a lot of trimming and getting uh, rid of the weeds. We cleaned out the pond. That was a huge task. So uh, we, we don't have 
a device to pump out all the water so it was all done with buckets of just buckets of water labor labor <laughs> but it was good for my body I could feel that it, it was getting stronger the first day since I, that I was working in that pond I was having um, muscle pains and aches but uh, a couple of days later things improved let's grab a blue tone here Mykonos blue I saved all the salamanders and newts well I hope I saved them all I'm not sure there was a lot of mud on the bottom of the pond and when I took it out I um, I didn't see salamanders so I hope there weren't any I hope I saved them all I put them in a large uh, large bucket with water from the ponds and a couple of plants and they st stayed there for a couple of days and now they are all back in the garden and when I was just in time because right now they are uh, mating they are laying eggs on the new plants that I bought I can I just saw them doing it it's really nice so I hope we have uh, lots of new salamanders in a couple of uh, couple of weeks I don't know how fast these eggs hatch no idea but it's really uh, they are very active right now really nice my husband is thinking about uh, buying a couple of fish also put them in the pond but I read that uh, the bigger fish they eat salamanders and I'm really very attached to my salamanders so I really wouldn't like them to be eaten by fish but well we'll see And these salamanders, they are predators too. Although very small, these salamanders. Here I have robin egg blue. Although they are small animals, they eat, I read about eating tiny snails and worms and insects tiny beasts living in the water so I hope uh, the pond has enough animals left for the uh, for the newts to feed on because uh, we refilled it with uh, most of this is tap water and as far as I know, there are no uh, tiny creatures in the tap water. Anyway, right now the nudes look very happy, so I hope they stay happy. And this morning I went uh, out hunting myself, hunting for caterpillars in my boxwood there was an article in the newspaper that said that the boxwood caterpillar pest was about to uh, slow down that it was getting better but not in our garden lots and lots of caterpillars so as you can see it takes lots and lots of time to uh, 
to get this background completely like I would like to have it. But let's continue. Let's pick another color. Here I have Amethyst. And Amethyst, I believe, is a... We call it... A, it's not a gemstone. A half gemstone. I don't know what the English uh, word is. It comes from the earth and it's a beautiful purpley colored stone. It's a mineral, I think. I don't know. I must say this Arteza set of 72 pencils, it's a great set, but uh, I changed my opinion about the amount of pencils, colored pencils that you need to, uh, to do nice coloring. A couple of years ago I would advise people to pick a set of let's say 36 colored pencils and then I would say well with layering and blending you can do great you can do great things that is true but 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 I have found now that the larger the set the better it is and with this background I already feel that I would like more colors to choose from. So there is a set of 120 pencils right now in the Arteza shop and Arteza promised me to send it when it's available because there are problems with uh, the stock right now, Lots is, a lot of it is out of stock right now because of the transportation problems due to the virus. Here I have another purple, lavender, but I cannot wait to try these, this set of 120 pencils because I really found that the more pencils you have the better it is because you can do blending and layering but um, some colors you just cannot you, you can't make them on the paper so you need a pencil with that color you really need it For example, in this set of 72, there are, there are very few lighter blue tones. And I hope that um, in, the new, in the large set of 120, there will be bl more blue tones. and darker tones I want much more dark tones because right now I have this one charcoal 
I have a black one, but there's a color like Payne's Gray would be great. There's no dark, really dark gray tone in this set right now. I would love to have that. I love Payne's Gray. This is charcoal. Well, let's pick another color. Here I have a fuchsia. There was another question about uh, And night scene backgrounds. A long time ago I started a double page from I believe it yes it's Secret Garden and then I would tell a nighttime story and then in the meantime I would color the background very dark with dark blues and blacks and and somebody asked uh, what happened to that page how did it work turn out because her own uh, attempt wasn't that good well I can tell you mine wasn't good either um, because I colored it most of it with uh, Faber-Castell polychromos pencils and I think it is a climate thing but here in the Netherlands the polychromos pencils they smudge a little bit and I was not aware enough about that and every time I closed the coloring book the two pages because it was double page the two pages would smudge each other and it's a real mess right now I don't think I can salvage it of save it I'll try to if I can save it I will show you but right now it looks hideous this is indigo this uh, the, the 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 Arteza pencils they do not smudge as you can see And there was another night scene background with uh, the tiger in Magical Jungle. That one is finished. It's on the Passion for Pencils uh, YouTube channel. I believe there is a uh, playlist how I color night scene backgrounds. That one is finished. Took a long time too because just the layering takes lots of time. But uh, I'm happy with the end result.
and let's get back to fuchsia. We have fuchsia plants in the garden. We have two. And uh, before the climate change, these fuchsias, you would have to take them inside the home in winter time, otherwise they would die of the cold. But the last few years, uh, winter time is uh, not that cold anymore. And they can stay outside. So I have two plants right now, a large one and a smaller one that uh, they are growing leaves again so I think and one has, has a flower already yeah Okay, let's take a step back. Look at that. It looks a bit strange with this dark blob here in the middle of this sort of circle. So I will make a connection here. I'm going to do that. Slowly the sun is uh, creeping up the passion for pencils headquarters table so I don't have much time left because when the sun hits uh, it's the drawing then uh, well it's difficult to record this is dark chocolate and I must warn although I love 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 Arteza pencils they are not light fast. I did a test and I have the results. I'll show you in a different, in another video, but I can already tell you they are not light fast. I tested it myself and some colors, they disappear completely after a couple of weeks. That only happens when you put your drawings on the wall in bright light. So when you use these pencils in a coloring book, then you don't have any problem. Because colors only fade when they come into contact with daylight, UV light, I believe it is sunshine these pencils say uh, something about uh, light fastness with these uh, markings I'll need to check whether that corresponds to what my findings were but they are not light fast enough uh, I believe. So I will not make art with them that I would like to hang on the wall. But if you are an illustrator or you only sell prints from your originals and you keep your originals stored in a drawer away from daylight, then there is really no problem at all. I think I will get a darker tone. The darkest of them all, black. Here I have it. Noir.
And let's pick this one, rose red. Let's see what happens if I add that. I really like to blend lighter colors on top of the darker ones. And there are a couple of pencil brands which do that beautifully. Artisa can do it. Um, Prismacolor. Carandash Luminance. Those three brands are quite opaque and they have this ability to, to blend on the paper. At least that is what seems to happen. And then there is uh, Faber Castell Polychromos. You can do it too with them. But something else seems to happen. That is a pencil that is more translucent and their layering works a little bit different. The translucency makes a different effect, I, have, I feel. But they are great for, for layering. I think layering and bl blending, you may say that those are two different things. Well, let's take a look again. That looks much better. Now it's very red over here and the rest of the background is predominantly green. So I think I will change that a little bit more so this will blend in with the rest more but uh, well this was my first update on this uh, page and in a couple of weeks I will get back to you. I will continue the work and then I will get back to you. And eventually I will show you the end result of endless layering and blending. And then you will see what the end result is. Okay. Well, stay healthy you all. Stay home and color a lot. And I wish you many days and hours of very happy coloring. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.